uh, giving a big brotherly bear hug to Roberto Carlos. Um, some was indeed three years ago. That time, uh, the result fell in Barca's favor. What can we say about him? An absolute living legend uh, in his own regard. So, and also looking over at our course. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, this is a classical like any other. There's to the legends, and and they'll have the bragging rights as well, which is what, uh, in the end, these Camarín shirts. Sure. And some of them know what it means to put on both. Or exactly. <laughs> multiple La Liga winners and Champions League winners, so they've competed at the oh, Absolutely. Uh, 30,000 capacity Bloomfield Stadium here in Tel Aviv. Three. Um, this time in Israel, last time, as uh, we mentioned. The atmosphere you know created. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it, um, the uh, 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 vaccination, of course, is, is, is uh, what looks to be pretty much a, a full house. First, I'm joined by Diego Lorraine for this, what set? In a 3-2 Barca victory and uh, an entertaining match, Jamie. Yeah, and I don't think we should expect anything less, really. Yeah. Like in the press conference, they said yeah. it's an exhibition match. Yeah. We're here to put on a show. We're, of course, uh, uh, players that played at the highest level and uh, uh, were professional idols and, and, and role models for some of these other players that they now get to play. First teams, the La Liga and beyond. That's exactly. Under nines, let's say. The Benjamins, the pre Benjamins, even. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I think the youngest player on the pitch is perhaps. Mm -hmm. That being said, I'm 31 out on the limb here and say that the majority of the fans are particularly excited to see this man play right here. He was, of course, also known over the years to have never lost. And uh, alongside of him, teams, two of the biggest sports brands in the world, two of the biggest sporting associations in the world, Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. And look at that. The competition's going to be hotting up any minute now, but right now it smiles. Awesome for Real Madrid. Absolutely. Not too many household names, however. The starting 11 for any of these former rivals come together. Let's have a look at the lineup then for Real Madrid. Starting at the back. Don't tell me that he's, you know, couldn't sign for one of the top teams. Hey, there he is. Ronaldinho. Stretching that shirt out a little. Um, you know, it, 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 these are more still seen perform. It's, uh, it's, like I just said, it's an absolute, you know, it, it, be shocked when you see two number sevens and two number tens on, That's right, on your screen. Crosses it in, does Nunez. Which these types of games are lived and uh, um, that was an early shot. I think that was Fernando Sanz. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's Pérez. That's Pérez. Was you know, inside the penalty area, what can he do here? He sets up. Well, didn't quite get a clean shot on Mendieta. But it's a good attack for Barca. Possibly one of the biggest attacks we've seen so far. To be back Campo. Oh. Ronaldinho though, from distance. And he stretched Jordi Colina there. Just fancied his chances in that one. That was cheeky and he knew it. Didn't he know? These exhibition games were really what the fans want is uh, to see their... Now. I think the referee's going to call a penalty for, for that one there. Ruben de Red was taken down. Three kicks. Well, he put it over. On the edge of the area, he slipped, but Ronaldinho on the edge of the area with the ball. And he puts it over, unfortunately. Uh, understandable as well, of course, that uh, these players... Look, ah. 55 year old a little bit faster, have a, a quicker movement uh, of the ball around the pitch. If he needs to sit out, then of course he has to, but uh, Casillas was one of those players. You know, a cheer uh, from the stands and, and people get excited just instantly. Yeah. And we were just in dire need. And, and this uh, is a nice attack. Got here. And it came off the crossbar. I thought that was going to be the first goal of the match from Ronaldinho himself. But look at that. That's when uh, the, the rest of the city was already asleep or, you know, late at night in their beds watching this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that... I'm going to cut you off here because this is a great opportunity for Barca. Sabiola goes down. It's a penalty for Barca. I said before, it's an exhibition match. Maybe we won't see that tightly contested, but... And that's yeah. cleanly. I don't think anyone expected anything less. 
this 30,000 capacity Bloomfield Stadium has absolutely erupted. Ronaldinho makes it 1-0 for FC Barcelona in a beautifully... Be By the way, with it, you can never well, get angry at that smile. Absolutely not. <laughs> Nice cross in there. In, in the top three teams, or most followed and supported team around the world. My question is of the game, uh, when uh, I think it was Ronald De Boer, I think it might have been Ronald De Boer or Frank De Boer, uh, one of the De Boer bro brothers that just chipped that ball over. The Rivalders, and that's a powerful shot from distance. Barca could be in trouble here. Hmm. Well, well, wasn't quite to be. Is that Visca? Yes, yeah, so it is. Should have done better with that. It looks like Luis Figo could be taking it. It's not. It's Roberto oh. Carlos. What a stop by Jesus Angoy. You know, and they, they start to read where maybe not past two or three seasons. <laughs> we always see that one player that has um, 25 years from now. Maybe we'll see Pedri playing in a Legends match. That's a good shot. Angoy solid between the posts here today. Slowly going into the break. The ball was in the youngster trying to get a quick one and only penalty. Scored by Ronaldinho. See you after Face Real Madrid legends. We're bringing you this match live from the. Is, you know, the. Well, Barcelona under pressure here early on, and that's even. All even here in Tel Aviv. Munitis comes on, and what an impact he's had just one minute and 20 seconds into this second half. Cheers and smiles all round for Real Madrid. Ronaldo Boyo can't do much more than look on. Monitis, who's fired up now, he's wanting to double it over. Oh. And it goes 2-1. Real Madrid, less than four minutes into the second half. Not only have they pulled level, they've taken the lead. 2-1 then to Real Madrid after that fantastic goal by Alfonso Perez with a cross from Monitis. Monitis, well, they left him on the bench. He was the ace up the sleeve, perhaps, to this Real Madrid side. It's so team. Well, you can hear the applause. Roberto Carlos. Was one of the penalties should have that will go down in history. I think I suffered. Well, that was a nice clean tackle play on, says our referee. Barca B, they're going to be stretched, I think, much more than we saw last season. Just as Barca. And uh, you can follow all of the action uh, as of 7 p.m. Central European time, as it was odd. No doubt all the kool aids would uh, be excited. Oh. And that prospect, that's a great shot. Finally, Barcelona pull it even. That's good. Is that Joffrey Mathieu? I was going to say, from a distance there, that looked like Leo Messi. Right. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I double took that as well. It was Joffrey. I saw running away with yet another win and uh, continue to capitalize. Uh, also ended up with a Barca victory, so let's hope that Barca can... Uh, hey Diego, I know we spoke about it before the match. Over in Israel, and uh, we'll be there from the remaining month of July. Oh, they're really good in ones. Barcelona, they were great ones. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me perhaps that the Barca Alex Perez Final given here's that around who we've seen as a danger from this area. It's a shot goal. Lovely I bit of skill. You it was coming. Ruben Dereren makes it 3 2 to Real Madrid. He celebrates with Alex Perez. I told you he was a threat, Diego. And we've seen a powerful foot on him from the edge of the area. We did. Lovely bit, of, lovely bit of skill there by uh, Ruben de la Red, where he just managed to flick them. Well, what can they do with this here? No shortage of players. Here's Ronaldinho in the penalty area. Can we see some magic late on? I think it, it's absolutely fair Jamie. to say. 100%. I mean, that's a nice gesture. Look at that. Ronaldinho takes it. It comes off the wall though for the first pre season friendly of the year. See that. Uh, this moment right here as uh, Ronaldinho stepping off of the field already.